Well, here it is, October 13th, 2010, and I am on the west side of Mount Jefferson. I've followed this uh, logging road pretty far up. It's kind of sad and surprising how close this logging is to the, the base of the mountain. Uh, if I would have driven a little further, I would have been a half a mile from Timberline. Right through here, you can see one of the ridges going up. Uh, we're at probably five, five and a half thousand feet. And I'm just gonna camp it right here with the truck. I, uh, I'm here for a lackluster attempt to hike around Mount Jefferson. It's uh, pretty... I've done it once and it was one of the hardest, scariest things I've ever done. There's no trail on the east side. Uh, it's been burned out uh, for the most part. And uh, it's just a really big commitment. Once, you, once you're over there, could be it break a leg and you're done. Some pretty steep cliffs to negotiate. I've been uh, having a pipe dream of going around what's called the Whitewater Glacier and that's at about 8,000 feet, 8,500 feet. I've been up there close to it with my camp and there's some really gnarly crevasses and uh, that too would just swallow me right up. Here you can see the top of Mount Jefferson now. It, we're close, really close. This is uh, what the Forest Service and the government don't want us to see is how close this logging actually is. This whole hillside is gone. What's even more scary is that down here at the bottom there's a watershed it springs up just a little farther up this valley and it was clear cut right through the riparian area five years ago I guess six years it's amazing how fast these trees have grown back if it has been five years so tomorrow I'm going to go to the ridge top and follow that and connect with the Pacific Crest Trail, which is probably a half a mile away. My only concern is uh, when I return that I find the general area to cut back down to the road so I can get to my truck. But uh, knowing that these clear cuts are here and Right down here is the beginning of the Red Creek. No doubt that I'll be able to find it. Well, there's the end of the road right down there. The creek is just past that. My truck is half a mile down the road. <clears throat> I'm up at the top of the ridge, followed the last clear cut up to the top corner and uh, almost expected there's a cleared path into the woods along the top of the ridge. Uh, half a mile or so along the ridge is the P Pacific Crest Trail and from up there once I noticed kind of a faint path going down the ridge and it just made me wonder 
how accessible it was from down below from the end of this road so here we are we're gonna start off into the woods fairly obvious where this trail is plainly visible right through here and lucky for me somebody has been maintaining it and just recently maintained it there's some poop that's probably some cougar poop I just saw a grouse and I tried to get a good shot of it it flew away they're like the chickens of the wilderness Well, I've been just bouncing right along. Uh, I was over on that first ridge just a little while back. And I probably hiked about four miles. Basically, it's gonna curve around up into a basin where, our, where there are some lakes, shale lake and mud lake. I was there few months ago with my skis It's a real neat place to be here. This is Shale Lake, and uh, it's about the bluest and prettiest I've ever seen. Uh, it's really tempting to stay here, but I've been here many times, and I want to try something new. This is Goat Butte. Down here, yeah, you could kind of see it through the trees it's mud lake and I have never seen so much water down here I think the last time I saw it it was mud zero water you can see it right through here we got a lot of late snowfall last spring and that's probably the reason. Just around the corner from Shale Lake is Hunt's Cove. Pretty hazy out here. <clears throat> These are the craggy peaks I was talking about and over here we can see Three Finger Jack and I'm heading over to that saddle over there and I'll drop down and go around this way. Well, I started down this very faint trail. It's not even marked. It goes down this way. And uh, there's a lake down there. Uh, I don't know if that's Table Lake or not. Uh, last I remember, there was more open meadows around it. Uh, this over here is the table. Oh, I see uh, way over there. That's Bear Butte. Well, this is some pretty rugged going. Wasn't uh, <laughs> what I had planned. I came from up there in that saddle. And it's just been winding through here. That's pretty awesome. Doesn't get much light here. And I guess... 
I guess a lot of hunters come through here on horseback because I've seen cairns. There's one here. And there was a pretty decent trail to follow down to the bottom, but then I don't know where it went. So I'm just going to head up through this draw regardless. And I hope that I have an easy descent on the other side. And that Table Lake will be right there. Well, I made it. Here's Table Lake. Uh, not a minute too soon. You can see the sun is going to be gone here in a little bit. And I'm just happy to be here. That journey through that backcountry stretch was pretty fun. It was pretty rugged and uh, my legs are just rubbery. Oh, look at that the wind blowing across it. So I'm going to set up on this side here, somewhere in that grass maybe. Hopefully I can find a dry spot. Well, this is the view from my tent. It rained last night. Uh, not too bad. But everything is wet. I wish I was up there, man. I'd be in the sun. I picked the wrong place. Because, uh, I'm not warming up. I'm not motivating. It's cold. It's 40 degrees. And, uh, everything's kind of wet in here. My sleeping bag's wet. This is wet from condensation. Okay. Well, we're at Table Lake. Finally got some sun. Kind of hitting the tent. I got, got motivated. Sure does make a difference. Just a few degrees. There was, uh, ice on the top of my tent so this is a really interesting place there's all kinds of fish playing in this water Look at these guys. You gotta be a dozen right here. They're probably happy the sun is hitting the water. Oh my god, look at them all. They are aware of my presence. Oh my god, look at that. There's 20 right there. <laughs> Amazing. My first time here, I came down that draw there from on the other side and it was just amazing to come into this lake and then see that it cascades down to the big lake down below and that we're that there were all these fish playing in between the two. I don't see too many up here. I 
they probably like that shallow water it's warmer I think today I might just go right up this here we are about halfway up this slope there's the table lake chain was right down there for any other animals up here this would have been the view of me down there <clears throat> a few hours since I last checked in it would socked over and boy I had to wait for that Sun to hit hit the tent and I got about a half hour blast and it warmed the tent up 20 degrees and got me motivated to go so here we are climbing up this slope not that away we're going up the draw right up the middle there some pretty neat outcroppings this is it the top of the table pretty damn cool just a big flat mesa out here in the wilderness um, it's a little tricky getting up I think I came up over there by those trees I had to climb up kind of a steep face with enough trees and boulders to purchase a climb up but I was really concerned about finding this water because I'd been looking and I'd come across dried tarns and what not. If I didn't find this water here, then I would have had to climb down. But this is just incredible. There was a resident bald eagle that flew away. So now I have to choose a camp spot which I don't know what I'm gonna do. Still the goal is to get that morning sun but then I leave myself exposed to the wind because the wind is coming from the east. Just fabulous. There's my favorite camp spot over here. Been there many times. Right there. Now that's easy to get to. It just slopes up to that point. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to shoot for this saddle over here and get back over to Shale Lake. But I'll probably have to go down the way I came, which is back in there. Hope I can find it. Well, time to set up camp. It's a little chilly up here. Here's the campsite. We're getting the setting sun here. Warm us up and man, let me tell you, 10 degrees cooler in the shade and it makes a difference. So we've got a little windbreak here, which is nice. Trees aren't so tall that we'll get the rising sun from somewhere in that general area. It's really kind of tricky to, to tell exactly. I'm tempted to use my compass. Well, there's where I was yesterday. Right down there. Yeah, you can see the trail on the side of that hill there. That was the uh, unmarked trail, the pack trail, started over there. The Pacific Crest Trail is over there in that saddle. And you can kind of see the trail, that hillside. It's pretty steep right here. There's some rock formations right here. This is generally about what it's like all the way around this table. Just a steep drop off like this. So I'm enjoying the last bit of sunlight here. Friday, I don't know, uh, maybe 
14th or 15th of October. This weather is fabulous. Look at this view. That's incredible. It's uh, just amazing how open this is. The water was good enough to filter. I've always wanted to spend the night out here, so here we have it. I found two trails on this trip, two secret trails. Spent the night at Table Lake. I've always wanted to spend the night there. Spent the night here. I've always wanted to spend the night here. Sure was cold last night. That's that's from the moisture that was in the dirt just froze and creeped right out of the dirt some right there it was as cold as 35 degrees in the tent last night it doesn't feel so cold right now there's not a breeze or a wind and uh, it's a little bit of ice down on that lake on the edges. I had uh, some howling coyotes and they were up on this table over on that side. I heard them first over here and then over here. And uh, the third time, I don't know where they were. They didn't get too close that I know of. Uh, we would have had some sun earlier. There's some clouds east. And uh, in my opinion, those are looking pretty ominous. If uh, there was some precipitation, it would be snow here. That wouldn't be very fun. Yeah. They're still kind of creeping this way because I just had some sun a minute ago. It's pretty, look at that. Well, it's time to say goodbye to the table. I'm all packed up. And it's been really, really just so peaceful and calm here. Nice and warm. Uh, had some birds. I heard uh, some large animal over here step on some talus. I didn't go look. But uh, still got a bunch of clouds to the east. And I saw some the west some lower clouds I uh, I might be heading back to the truck I just have a premonition that this is the calm before the storm and uh, it's not fun being stuck in snow well I'm down on the lower part of the table I just came down this it wasn't too bad I think it was somewhere to the left there where there were some trees and uh, happened upon an animal trail so it's always key when you're going through some rough terrain that if you happen upon an animal trail you should take it because that is usually the easiest way down I uh, found a, a tarn over here I'm surprised to see some water just over here. This is pretty amazing here. There's uh, the Cathedral Rocks over here. And uh, this is what I'm dealing with. I'm not going down that, but it's the beautiful scene this valley. I'd like to get over there. 
Uh, second would be over there, but you can see here there's some serious cliffs in here, and my hope is that I could do like a semicircle around. I won't know until I get around this rock here. I mean, these trees and this tree line almost looks like it slopes up. If that's the case and there's some trees, well then I can manage. It's not all that far. I'm not going to drop down any rocks like this. Way too dangerous. Yeah, it's beautiful over there, that rock wall. I did climb some bit in elevation, but I didn't drop down. That would have been a big, big drop to down there and then back up. Well, hopefully my plan will work out. <clears throat> Time for a break, man. Nice cuke from the garden. I sure did climb up here. That's Goat Butte. And uh, I had to essentially climb up to this saddle because it was all a line of cliffs I'm coming up here. Nice, I got a view though of uh, this broken top. Uh, one of the sisters, Mount Washington, and uh, here is Broken Top. Just a little while ago, I was right down there. That's the lower part of the table. And there's the upper part of the table. So yeah, we're really huffing. But here there's a trail, probably an animal trail. I have seen goats up here a long time ago. Up higher you can see a trail going along this, up to the spine. And right here is a sign that humans have been here. There's a rock cairn. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that it's the only way to get down. So, it's okay. Kind of exciting. Good workout. Still, uh, with all these clouds and uh, just, I don't know, just a premonition that things are going to turn bad. I'm going to try and head out of here. Just right here, at the base of Goat Peak. And there's where I wa was, just right over there. Climbed up the, the other side of that rock wall and just came along the, the base of this mountain face here. Kind of interesting, it's uh, another secret route because there's a pretty well-worn path through there. Probably, most likely animals, but the good news is, is that right through here, you can see there's some flat meadows over there. And from there, it just stair steps down to the lakes. And that's good news. Easy going here on out. What a great adventure this was. This is fabulous. You know, some busier mountains would probably have trails all through here, and I'm glad there's not any in here because it's perfect just the way it is. Not sure which is the best way to go. It almost doesn't matter, it's all so sublime. Uh, one thing that I know it gets a little steep. Yeah, there's a path. 
back here. Okay, I know where I am now. Over there is a talus slide. And down below that is the lake that I wanted to stay at. A little steep, doable. Glad I'm going down. Basically, once you get into these meadows, you just follow the drainage and it goes right down to Mud Lake. Somebody set up a couple rocks here. Imagine setting up a tent right here. Fabulous. Okay. I'm pretty certain there's a lake right down here. There it is. Right through there. I don't know what it's called. It's a fairly large one. Let's go down and check it out. 